I mean, to be honest, this was real Georgia football to me. You know, this is the Georgia that I grew up watching. This is the Georgia that I came in as a freshman, you know what I mean? Sophomore, junior. This is the, the standard of Georgia football. So I feel like, you know, we got to foot in the door. We're on to the right track right now. In your opinion, it's 14-14 at the end of the first quarter. And then you guys just took off. Looked like it was going to be a shootout. What, what changed in that moment? I mean, to be honest, as a team, uh, on the sideline, everybody yells 0-0. No matter you know what the score is, no matter if they're up, no matter you know what the situation is, it's zero zero, and you have to play like that. But once you start overthinking it or underthinking it, that's when the game you know gets gets out of gets, gets out of hold of you. So the zero zero mentality, you know, that's how you keep going. Can you talk about the well, I love them boys. You know, I, I promised them boys hundred yards. Them boys get dinner. So you know, I'm gonna play my part. But the line came out like I said with the attitude. Everybody in the, the locker room before the game, you know, teary eyed, it's senior day, it's the last one in, uh, in Sanford, but they came out with an attitude, and you know, I'm just proud of my boys. They work every day against the best defense in the country to, to have a game like this, so I'm just proud of the boys for the match. Kendall, you guys get Brock back tonight. What kind of impact did that have on the offense? Oh, it, it's funny because every time Brock touches the ball, you know, you hear that crowd light up, and Carson, Carson told me, you was like, you was like, watch, the crowd's about to get loud. So, I mean, just, see, just seeing Brock out there and having fun doing what he's supposed to do, like I said before in previous interviews, Brock's the hardest working guy that I've ever met. Like, and there's no competition, even from his rehab. He was attacking his rehab, and you know, honestly, he's in a position where he didn't have to come back. You know what I'm saying? He didn't have to come back this season, but that's the type of person he is. That's the type of teammate player he is. He puts his team before everybody. You know, and that's you know, I'm blessed to have a brother like Brock, and I'm just you know, can't wait to see how far we can take it. You're playing the best football of your career right now. You seem like you're in such a groove. I would just say that I'm playing at the ability that God's allowing me to uh, before the game and my prayers I always has don't don't let me do too much, just let me do what you think I'm ready for. And you know, I feel like up to this point, you know, week by week he's been doing that. So, you know, I'm gonna do the same prayer next week, whatever he thinks I'm ready for, I'm gonna be able to do it.